Hello, welcome back to the second half of our learning. In this studio practice, I would like to share with you an alternate method to extrude your polygon mesh in a flowing manner. The workflow is pretty simple. It's all about the combined use of an EP curve with the extrude function. And here is a little demo how it works. First, let's go to our polygon shelf. Simply create a polygon plane. And hide the grid for now. Next, we are going to switch our viewport to the front view. Once you are at the front view, go to your shelf and look for the tab that label as curve. Simply activating the tool of EP curve in the viewport, click at the center of the point and keep clicking it until you have formed a preferable curve. Then, simply hit enter to end the operation. Now, let's jump back to our perspective viewport. You should be able to see a nice little curve that we have created. Switch the shelf back to the polygon and select this polygonal face. Then, Shift select the curve as well. At the polygon shelf, simply double click on the extrude function and reset the settings. Click apply, then close the menu. You should be able to see the select face has been leveled up with additional dimensions. Now let's focus at our channel box. Click at the division label. Hold down your middle mouse and drag. You shall see the extruded mesh begin to flow and fold itself according to the curve. Do try to play around with the settings of a taper and twist. The extruded mesh can be shaped into the looking of a video branch. At this point, you still can alter the flow of your extruded mesh. For instance, do try to select the curve and enter the edit control vertex mode. Simply select any of the CVs and use move tool to repath it. Once you're happy with it, you can fix the outlook of your mesh by deleting its history. And the EP curve would no longer have any inferences over the mesh. I hope you will find this nonlinear extrusion method to be useful for crafting your level. And that's all for these demonstrations. Thank you.